Hello! I'm back and my name is Gemma and so I'm here with another video but it's not about hauls nor is it about how to make money online. Alright, so what could it be? Well, today we're getting down on a personal level, in my opinion at least, and we will be talking about my breast biopsy experience. Ooh, that's, that's kind of weird. You're going to be talking about your boobies. Do you really want to get into that? Yes, I do. I do, for the sake of people who are going to go through that tomorrow, next week, next year. And they might come upon this video and be like, hey, I'm actually kind of prepared now. And so that's the goal that I'm trying to accomplish here. Just to give a little background, I had a lump right here um, in my right breast. And I noticed it maybe, I'd say maybe two, three years ago, but I never really got on top of it until about a year and a half. So I went to my primary doctor, I was like, yo, man, there's a ball in my boobs. And he was like, oh, let me check that out. And then like, he did x-rays and everything, and he was like, oh, you know what that's called? Fibroadenoma, which is basically a benign mass. And he said, because I have a lot of hormones going on in my body, considering my age, that they just don't know what to do with each other and they just clump. And he said it's basically tissue just clumping together. Like a major thing about fibroadenoma is that it is benign, so it's not cancerous. But he was like, I want you to go to another hospital to get an ultrasound just to get a better look at it. They said, okay, it's about two centimeters. Just pretty small. And then they were like, so right now it's still fibroadenoma, nothing big. Come back in another six months. So I come back and they do the ultrasound again. And they say, oh, it's grown about 0.3 centimeters. No biggie. So now it's like 2.3 centimeters. Just come back after six months. So I'm there. And that after six months was about two weeks ago. And I do the ultrasound, the doctor comes out and she's like, so your lump has grown a lot more since the last time we've seen you. Now it's at roughly around 3 centimeters. So she told me, surgeons usually recommend to take masses out once they reach 3 centimeters, especially in the breast area. So she gave me two options. She said, we can schedule you for a biopsy and we send the samples to the lab the lab sends it to the surgeon and then the surgeon will be able to analyze what they're dealing with before the surgery. That's what she recommends. My second option is to just go straight into the surgery and take that sucker out. I said, okay, you're the doctor, I'm going to go with doing the biopsy first and then we'll do the surgery as it comes. I had my biopsy scheduled about five days later and that's where we begin. So now we're going to get into the actual procedure. Now I just want to emphasize that I go to Kaiser, so their procedures might be a little bit different than the ones that you're going to go to. The main concept is practically the same. It's the same principle, just different ways to go about it. Okay, so when I first arrived, I checked in, did the usual thing, I put my gown, almost as if I was going to do my usual follow-up examination. One thing that was pretty significant I guess was that I couldn't lift 10 pounds for the next two days and considering I work in retail you know sometimes I do have to lift I had to take a day off just to make sure that the cut doesn't open up and bleed so after I get checked in the nurse asked me what's my name what's my birthday and she goes over what's going to happen during the procedure and what I should do after so when I go into the actual procedure room there are three people in there with me there's an ultrasound technician, the nurse, and the doctor. Now this is an ultrasound guided biopsy. First lay down on the table and the ultrasound technician starts to take pictures of the lump and then the doctor comes in. He says, okay, we're just going to start out by putting anesthesia. So three shots of anesthesia around the proximate area where they were working at and then then he tells me, you're going to feel a little pressure, but it's not going to be that bad. I'm like, okay, go for it. I'm numb. I'm good. 
I can conquer the world. He gets the ultrasound. Um, he gets the I don't know how they they call it, but he he gets the the scanner I guess the thing that you know that shows you the stuff. Okay, I'm not in the medical field. I'm sorry. And he just starts pushing on the lump with the little scanner, and he's just pushing it and pushing it away from where it just you know sits. I had to bite my tongue because it hurt that much and I was already numb. I guess when he was done moving it, he said okay. He pulls out this long needle. It's like a like a syringe but just like a syringe on steroids. That's what I like to picture it as. Uh, I'll put a picture of it right down here. So yeah, that's how it looks like. It's like he pulled the trigger because once he pulled a specific mechanism on it, it just went and he told me it might sound scary but it's actually not. I'm like, okay. I believe you, doctor. For the anesthesia, after the pressure, moving stuff, he makes an incision. And then he pulls out that big syringe. I'm laying down horizontally. So all I can see is this blue towel that's covering this part and this part. And I can just see him put the needle in. And I'm, all I'm thinking about is how is that needle just going all the way in? It, it, it baffled me. I was looking at the screen because on the screen you can see the needle is just like touching the lump. It's just like jabbing at it. I'm like, how did that, how that long needle just went in like that? And of course I couldn't feel it. I could just only see it. So around the second or third time, you know, that's when it hit me because I saw blood like all over the needle. And I'm not too good at blood, honestly. Every time he goes in with the needle, you see it on the screen. When he sees that the needle is um, really close to the lump, he pulls the mechanism to grab a sample from it. And that's the thing that hurts the most. It feels like something's just tugging in your, in your breath. It's really uncomfortable. So he gets about five samples, and after each sample he gets, he puts it into this little container and it had fluid and then he just tosses it in there. Mine look like white clumps, that's all. Um, you know, surrounded with blood. The last time that he took a sample out, which was the fifth time, he said, you know, okay, so we're on our last one and then we'll be done. It, this one hurt the most because I'm guessing he took a sample around the area where it didn't numb too much so I felt everything. I felt it go in, I felt it retract and take the sample out and it just hurt a lot. Now I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just telling you. At that moment I, I didn't cry but I was tearing up because it, it hurt. And usually I'm pretty good with needles. So as soon as I think we're done he says, okay well actually I'm just going to put a marker into your breast and so he goes back with the same syringe and yes, he just marks it. So now I have a little permanent marker. So let me just explain what a marker is. Prior to the biopsy, the nurse told me that the doctor may or may not choose to put in a gel marker, which is permanent. And she said usually it's put into older patients. It's really rare to have that, um, have that put in. To, to people around my age. So I brought up the fact that I'm most likely going to get this removed. So she told me, okay, well the marker will serve as, you know, just an indication of where the spot is so that the surgeons won't have to like make an excessively huge scar just to find it. Um, I'll have a reduction in scarring, which I guess is good for me because bikini season is coming up. After he put in that gel marker, he was like, okay, you should be hearing back from us in like five days, nice to meet you, and he left. And the nurse um, basically cleaned me up, she just wiped all the blood out, put bandages on me, and then she put this clear coating on top of the little gauze pads, and she said, whatever you do, do not take the bandages out, the white gauze pads. And if they fall out, I have to put a bandage, like, like a band-aid, like immediately. And the clear coating is just so it prevents the bandages from slipping out. Um, she gave me a recovery paper after that. Um, I couldn't wear a wired bra for about four days, so I, 
I went braless out of that hospital. Thanks for watching my video and hope this really helps you out and I hope it helped to prepare you for your own biopsy or if you just watched because I put breast in my title. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you the next time around and 